this stage you come. Oh my god, hey. It's me, Aaron James. And me, Mickey Joe Theatre. And we are currently outside the Prince Edward Theatre Theater in Soho because we're off to see Dear England. England, Dear England. Yeah, we're off to see Dear England, which is a play by James Graham yes. that was previously at the National Theatre, in the Olivier Theatre, and has transferred into the West End until January. Yes, and it's the first play at the Prince Edward for decades. Yes, it's supposedly, I believe, the first play in here since the Second World War. Wow. I'm wearing my National Theatre necklace again, though. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, the shine on her. Look at that. We're not actually in this building this evening, but it's a National Theatre production, so that counts. Yeah. So this is a play that's got a lot of hype. I think it's it's a show that people are expecting to get an Olivier nomination, and possibly more. For sure. And it's directed by Rupert Gould. James Graham has written it. He loves to fixate on these little chapters of history, these little pocket moments, and explore them for all of like their enduring relevance and dramatic interest. Yeah, I love the James Graham play. I think that's the thing that's most intrigued me about it, because I absolutely love to quiz, and Best of Enemies was really good. I'm very excited to see what this play is, and we've heard from so many people that even if you're not a sports or a football fan, there comes a lot of love for it because of his writing, which makes me very excited, because we're not particularly football fans. Not big football fans. Um, this evening, I'm going to do my best. I am Mickey Joe Football, or Mickey Joe Sports. I'm Mickey Joe Sports, everyone. Yeah, I don't think that's going to go well. Let's just start there. Uh, good. But very excited, especially because we're in my favourite Western theatre, so I'm just going to be happy to be back in the Prince Edward Theatre. What other shows have you seen at this theatre, Aaron James? Um, I have seen Miss Saigon, Jersey Boys, Ain't Too Proud, Mary Poppins, Aladdin. I think that's one of them, but I saw Mary Poppins both times, the original and the revival. Three. I think that's most of them. There have not been that many shows at the Prince Edward because most shows in there live a long life, which is very nice. And after Dear England, MJ is going into the theatre. Quite the contrast. Yeah, because this theatre is one of the biggest in the West End. So it often has musicals because it needs kind of a blockbuster shows. So let's go and head into the theatre. And here is the Prince Edward, my favourite theatre, with the English flag, the St George's flag, all the way down the theatre. It's very interesting this being in the middle of Soho, which is normally filled with the Pride flag. It's interesting seeing a big St George's flag. And when you enter through one of the doors, there is the cast list with everybody that's on at this performance. Oh my god, hey, it's Mickey Joe in the downstairs merch kiosk and they do have some quite cute novel things here. As you can see, the show t-shirt has a little logo, not on the arm and then on the back there, Dear England and the number nine. Is that relevant to the play? I don't know. There is a scarf. That's fun. Does the scarf say National Theatre and Dear England on the sides? I spy a water bottle, magnet. Is that pin badge? I think that's enamel pins and a key ring. There is a tote bag, of course. The same t-shirt, I believe, in a dark blue. We're in a Cameron, we're in a Delphine Macintosh house. So that is the Master of the House book all about the Delphine Macintosh theatres. You can also get a poster here. You can get a play script by James Graham. I will do my best to show you the prices when I get a chance. You can get, as you can just glimpse over here, a program and beer bundle as well. And the beer can, as shown in that image, uh, has the dear England poster branding on it as well. Let me just do a drive by here so I can share the prices. And that's all of the prices down there for everything to discuss. And that's the Dear England beer can. So we made it down to the stores bar and it is round but it's so busy. Which I feel like is, should be kind of expected with this show. So as a heads up, if you're trying to go to the bar pre-show, get here early. It's busy. And we are in the Prince Edward Auditorium. This is the interval as it took a while to get our drinks to get into the theatre so I didn't get a chance to show you anything beforehand. But here it is and here is the stage of the England. It's really cool how much it fills off the stage. And look at those incredible loggias. They are one of my favourite parts of this theatre. How gorgeous the Art Deco is. The whole building is just exquisite. And here is our programme. And then there is the stage. This is our view. So that was our trip to the Prince Edward. I like football now. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so that was our trip to the Prince Edward Theatre to yeah. see Dear England, the yes. play by James Graham. Mm -hmm. And 
I don't promise it's not like this what Mickey just did. It's actually it's really a really good. good play. It's a really good play. As you get with any James Graham, like we were saying, I think in this video, yeah. I think we talked about this. He's really great at taking these little pockets of history and exposing their full theatrical potential and what he manages to find within the dramatic context of a penalty shootout. Gripping and fascinating and engaging. And our friend Sean, who you'll know as theatre fan online, recently mm -hmm. went to see it and also loved it. Loved it as well, And yeah. he's also not really that versed in, in football. Not a, yeah, not a he's big... He's versed in theatre, not in football. Not a big football person. But I think what this showed is amazingly kind of similar, as we mentioned, to Quiz, is that, yes, it's a play about football, but really it's a play about the people. It's about the people. It's it, like a Ted Lasso. It's like I enjoy Ted, Ted, Lasso. Ted Lasso. We both love Ted Lasso, yeah. People uh, like American friends have been asking about this play because uh, we have a few American friends yes. coming over like, well, we, would we see this if it was going to Broadway, hypothetically? Potentially, um, who knows? Then uh, would it work? And I think it works for the same reasons that Ted Lasso does. It's not about yeah. the football. It's not about the context. No. Obviously, there's a lot of like dramatic irony mm. at play because the audience. There's that. There's that inner thing. The of... British audience know what's going to know <clears throat> what the results of the games are yes. going to be. The way you don't on a Ted Lasso, and the way an American audience probably wouldn't know. Yeah, you can hear people that are football fans kind of go, oh, "This is." And I I'm heard not even a football like, fan. And I, rem happen. I remember who misses the penalties. Yeah. Because it was a big thing at the time. It was a big thing at the yeah. time. Yeah. And like you kind of know when bits about like racial tension and other moments are going to appear and kind of like, oh, how they're going to tackle that moment of time. Yes. I think that kind of thing of awareness. But like we knew about that and we weren't football fans, but that kind of went past football in a sense. Mm -hmm. But I, th I think something that is probably more for the football fans and just maybe British people in general is the knowledge of the casting process and how like the people they're representing is. Yeah. I don't think it's a big thing that's different, but that's one thing that's been really hailed and applauded about this show is like how yeah. similar the impersonations are. Also, it's gonna have extra like meaning and value to you if you are into football or take someone who is. Yeah. If you're a theatre person with a football fan in your life somehow. Yeah, who you'd love to take to a theatre but it's not normally their thing. It's a great way I think of introducing yeah. people of going and maybe you'll actually like theatre or maybe it's just that there's never been anything that's truly cool to them to yeah. watch. It'll make football lovers out of theatre fans and theatre fans out of football lovers. It has actually been amazing to see how many people like have been, when I've been seeing people going to see that play and when we were there and seeing the audience but seeing how like enthralled and in it everybody was. It's great seeing anything in the theatrical sphere being successful but something that's not based on a film. Yeah. Something that like there are names in this cast but not like megawatt Hollywood yeah. star names and for a play to be selling the Prince Edward which is, is huge. Massive and that's why plays for so long have not played that theatre, because it's a humongous theatre. I think this is what you get from like <clears throat> shaking up the idea of like what can we put on stage, what will audiences... Because on paper, I don't know if this is something I would have expected audiences yeah. to engage with as much as they have. Yeah. But again, James Graham, finger he, on the pulse. He just knows how to write great theatre. He does. He does, which ultimately is the most important thing. Yes. So tips for sitting in this show. Are there any tips? Would you say, Mickey, where should where should people look at buying seats to see the show if they have the option? I mean, I've sat all over the place in the Prince Edward. I prefer that front section of I think the so. Stores. It's a very large theatre, and I think although this probably does play nicely upstairs as well because it is quite visually there's a lot of visuals, there's a lot of projections. I don't think you're gonna humongously miss anything being far away, but there is this added element I think of being close and seeing their faces and having that kind of clear view of them. With musical theatre everything's played a bit Broad. larger but then with plays there's a lot of moments where you don't have the music, people aren't projecting as loudly so being in that closer section yeah. just means that you feel a bit more, it feels a little bit more intimate because it's such a big theatre. I'd be intrigued what it is like upstairs at the back. Don't worry about being on the ends. We were on the far left end of the back row of that front section of the stalls, left as you sit in yep. the auditorium, and it was fine. Like, literally unobstructed view. I also preferred that because they're long rows with no they central aisle, so you have to get in and out of it. You have well, to walk past a lot of For people. the front section, but not for the back section of the stalls. That's a split. Yeah, split. yeah, 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 in that front yeah. bit. I mean, I mean, yeah. Advice with the theatre, it's... Um, you don't have to get there too early for this theatre, but it has does have lovely interior and it has it a lot of space to walk around. Which Go explore we, the Prince Edward Theatre. We theater. recommend. Um, the bar She's did, lovely. The bar did get very busy. I think for this show in particular, 
maybe just because of a different type of people that are seeing the show, who knows, but... I nearly started a fight because <clears throat> I told a man he wasn't queuing properly. It is busy. <laughs> I was getting in the zone and I was like, I don't know. I no, don't know I, think, I think just there's a, there were a lot heavier bar cues before the show started. So I think if you're thinking about anything like that, maybe just head there a little bit further ahead or have pre drink somewhere else and then go to the theatre. Or if you just pre game <laughs> here in England, right now. It meant like like a drink. Yeah. Not like or if you don't go for a sesh no, and then rock up no. at the Prince Edward. But like there are lots of places in Soho, etc, bars, etc yeah. or food places. So if you're looking at pre food or pre I'd maybe like not plan to go to the bar when you get to the theatre at least for the pre-show elements because it gets very busy. And international audiences, if you want to feel included in this show, you don't need to read up on like the football <laughs> history, uh, but you probably will want to learn Neil Diamond's Sweet Caroline yes. if you don't know it already. Although um, on Broadway you've also got a Beautiful Noise, which sings Sweet Caroline. I was going to say, Beautiful Noise, Neil Diamond Caroline. musical, and Dear England the play are like this. <laughs> there have been a lot of mu a lot of musicals, plays and pantomimes recently that all love to have a sing-along to Sweet Caroline. So in general so good so good so good so in general if you're going to see theatre I believe that you should know the lyrics to Sweet Caroline because at any moment in any type of production be it Shakespeare musical theatre or pantomime there is likely to be a Neil Diamond a Sweet Caroline the chokehold that, that song has on specifically heterosexual British culture when will it end when will we be free I don't know so I'm just quickly checking on today tick so I can give you a little bit of an update on ways to get cheap tickets to see Dear England. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's part of the National Friday Rush at 1pm, but there are £25 rush tickets available on the day of performances from today ticks from 10am. So if you're looking at on the day when you're planning or you're travelling over and this might be in your set of shows of, I might see it but I'm not 100% sure, but you're not trying to buy tickets in advance, it is a show to get, you can get rush tickets for. I, I didn't know if you were doing an homage to the turntable of the set because we've slowly rotated over the course of this, bit like we were, we were here and then I've been displaced. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Yeah. What should people comment below? I My one is, have you seen a James Graham play or musical before? Because he did write the book to the Tammy Faye musical, which is about to open on Broadway next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, nearly, you nearly poked me in the face. Oh. <laughs> but um, he's behind the plays such as Quiz. Best of Enemies. Yeah. And This House. Yes. There we go. We're all coming out now. So... If you want to know more about the show or Mickey's thoughts in general about oh, the show, yeah. you can head over to his video. I did a review on my channel. I am at Mickey J Theatre. Go and check it out. Uh, find out uh, what I thought about what I thought about the play. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For football more. emoji. Football emoji. And put football emoji below. <laughs> All you football lads like myself. But I'm off to football practice. Oh gosh. Back but of the net. Uh. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. He shoots! He scores! And I hope you have a magical and stagey rest of your day. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.